1975, starting at the Woodland Park Zoo, Seattle Children's Theater was born. And 45 years, 265 plays, and 4 million children later, Seattle Children's Theater stands strong today. They are a major voice in the theater world, being the second largest theater company in the nation. I learned these things and more while vol volunteering at Seattle Children's Theater. This report is about Seattle Children's Theater and my, exper and my experience volunteering there. It's been top entertainment for almost 3,000 years now. Theater. It's history's most popular art form. No matter where you go in the world, every culture has some form of interactive storytelling in their history. And while it's always been a branch of theater, children's theater has been overlooked throughout history. But that all changed in the late 20th century. The purpose of this section of the report is to show that how children's theater impacts kids and why it still matters today. One of the most important reasons why kids should be exposed to theater is because studies have shown that when kids are exposed to theater at a young age, they have better academic performance. Research from UCLA's Graduate School of Education by Dr. James Carter Carterall shows that students who participate and are exposed to theater are more likely to do community service time. They are also less likely to drop out of school. Studies by neuroscientists show that the left and right hemispheres of the brain both need to be stimulated for the brain to utilize its true potential. And theater is one of the best ways to use the right side of your brain. If children are exposed to theater, they will be achieving a more, more well-rounded thought process. Children's work is their play. Children learn from everything they do. Anonymous. One other reason that youth, youth should be exposed to theater is because it teaches them patience. Theater is very different from any other mainstream form of entertainment. With theater, a kid will see a new thing. Uh, with theater, a kid will not see a new thing every five seconds, as they do in other art forms. This will help them realize that something can be entertaining and interesting without frequent changes. Another reason that young kids should see theater is because it promotes communication. Theater exposes new vo new vocabulary and new forms of communication to kids. Through dance, music, and acting, kids can learn how to communicate in many ways. Learning to commu how to communicate with new people while watching actors express themselves through song and dance is a unique learning experience. Yet another reason why children should be exposed to theater is because it is probably the best way of promoting imagination. Imagination is vital for a growing child, and theater is by a wide margin the best way of developing imagination. Theater is the best place where kids can explore the limitless possibilities of their imagination and what they can do with it. This is probably the biggest reason why kids should be exposed to theater. Another reason why children should be exposed to theater is because it links to reading largely. Children's theater can take almost any story off the page and bring it to life. This can be a revelation for people who read books normally, but also a major surprise to people who don't like reading. Part of it is that what's happening on stage is very similar in a way to the way play acting and, ro and role playing that ch all children do. It's live and good plays are just a little bit incomplete, if you will. They need the audience to complete them and they change slightly with the audience. Films, of course, are static, says Dr. Peter Kovac, president of Theater Young Audiences. The reason why the final reason why kids should be exposed to theater at a young age is because it helps people look at other cultures. Through theater, young audiences are focused in stories from uh, every background imaginable. Live shows also teach ch children how to uh, how to understand people of all kinds and how to respect their opinions. Also, characters from historic periods give audience members a chance to learn about historical events. Not only is it important to learn about different kinds of people and aspects of life, but theater also gives a glimpse into other people's lives, and seeing other people's points of view is not the youth's strong suit. This, this teaches kids lessons of empathy. If all of these reasons haven't shown how vital children's theater is, I don't know what will. But what is important to take away from this part of the report is that theater and any, and any other art form are just as important as any other form of education. We need theater to create well-rounded uh, well kids. This is very important because these well-rounded kids that will be created not soon in the future will become well-rounded adults. Seattle Children's Theater is a non-profit theater foundation that was founded in 1975. Usually when you're working there, you will have about three volunteers on the job with you. I did three hours of service over eight sessions for a total of 24 hours. 
the job that one can typically expect while uh, uh, while um, on the job are ushering, ticketing, ticket taking, and my personal favorite, stage watching. Once the show starts, you have the option to watch it if there isn't a full house, but after 45 minutes, the show will come to an inter intermission. This is the most chaotic time because people forget about the rules that you can't bring food into the theater. This is a problem because most concession sales happen at an intermission. Once, uh, once at one of the shows, um, there were characters in the show who were sort of silent narrators, and I was stage watching at one of these shows, and a little girl walked up to me and asked, how do the clowns not laugh at everything? I told her that they were just actors and that they had rehearsed what they were doing hundreds of times. She then asked me, what's an actor? Remembering that she was just three years old, I told her that she should ask her parents and that they would probably know. Overall, I learned a lot of stuff working at Seattle Children's Theater, but what I learned most is that the entertainment for kids is not that different from entertainment for teenagers. I laughed my head off.